everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new. My name is Kristen. This is normally my booktube channel, but this weekend we have a special event going on. I am going to the Taylor Swift concert. Yes, tomorrow, April 1st, 2023. I, Kristen, will be going to the Taylor Swift Eras concert in Dallas. Well, Arlington, at AT&T Stadium. And I have just arrived at my hotel room for the weekend. Today is Friday, so I have checked in and I am getting a little settled in, but I thought I'd give you guys a little hotel tour while I'm here. So this week's video is going to be a little bit different. It's gonna be a bit of a more vloggy type video, I guess. I'm gonna bring you guys with me to the Taylor Swift concert. Not gonna talk that much when I'm there because it's a concert. You're not really gonna be able to hear me that much. I'm gonna bring you guys with me and we are going to have a little bit of a Taylor experience together. That's gonna be tomorrow though. So today, I'm just settling in. I'm going to film and edit my video that is going up on Saturday the 1st, hopefully. <laughs> hopefully I get that finished. But that's the main goal for today. Aside from picking up some little odds and ends from the store that I have forgotten. But let's go ahead and do a hotel room tour because honestly, pretty decent hotel. For how crazy this weekend is in Arlington, if you don't know, Texas Rangers also play in Arlington. Their field, like right across the street from AT&T Stadium. So it's a busy weekend here in Arlington and it was a struggle finding a hotel room in this city that was not a ridiculous amount of miles away from AT&T Stadium. So very, very happy that I found this hotel room. And on top of that, it's a pretty nice hotel room, to be honest. Like. The position of it, I'm on the highest floor against a wall. Nobody next to me on that side. And also, it's a nice room. Like, it's pretty big. So let's go ahead and show you that room, shall we? Okay, so this is the front door that you walk in. And then immediately, there is a mirror right there. And the bathroom, pretty much what you would expect. And then we have this little walkway thing. And we have a closet. Very nice, very nice. We'll be hanging up my concert outfit in there. We have like a little, does this even count as a kitchenette? I don't know, but there's a fridge, fridge freezer and a microwave. As you can see, I already have snacks. So ahead of the game there. Moving on, we have the little living area. Very nice, we have a little chair. This is a pull-out couch, so someone else could also sleep in here, but it's just gonna be me actually staying here. My friends that are going to the concert with me will be coming to get ready with me tomorrow, but as of right now, it's just me. Then we have a nice little desk, plenty of mirrors, which I appreciate. Let me, let me talk to you for a second. As a lady who will be getting ready in this room with other ladies, it is important to have ample amounts of mirrors. We need to work on the lighting, this lighting in this room, not great, but the amount of mirrors in this room is great. So we'll take what we can get here. Then lastly, we have the little bedroom area. It's a king size bed, ignore all of my luggage on the bed. I brought my Squishmallow, yes, I am that person. And then we have two more mirrors and some benches. This is gonna be really great for getting ready for the concert. It's gonna be very exciting, I'm really looking forward to it. So yeah, that is a quick rundown of what my hotel room looks like. This was a very last minute booking. I think I booked it on Sunday night. We were literally watching and waiting for cancellations so that we could book a hotel room to get ready in. And another bonus, this hotel has a shuttle directly to the concert. Didn't even know that when I booked it, but it works out perfectly in that sense. So yeah, this is gonna be my little room for the weekend. And I'm gonna do a little bit of vlogging with you while I'm here. I'm not gonna film any of my friends because that's weird. It's not their YouTube channel. So all the clips that I film are pretty much gonna be of me in this room or of me screaming at the Taylor Swift concert. So please enjoy that footage. Go ahead and tell them I'm a little bit too much for you.
It is Sunday, April 2nd. And as you can tell, probably I yelled a lot at the concert last night. I don't have too much of a voice left. I hope I'm not talking too quietly, but I don't know how much louder I can talk than this. So I'm going to keep it fairly low. It's going to be a little low energy, this clip, but I woke up not too long ago. The concert was really good. It was great. I had some drinks. I had a good time and it was very entertaining and she did not rest like at all. Like she went off stage a couple times to change outfits, but in total, I think she was only off the stage for maybe 10 minutes like throughout the entire three hour show. So it was definitely quite the show. And I cried a couple times. Uh, I haven't, I've only cried at one other concert before. And it was when I saw Lizzo. We did not get back to the hotel until around 1 a.m. Maybe a little earlier than that, but I didn't go to sleep until like 1.30 because I had too much adrenaline. I was not ready to go to sleep. So it took me a little while to actually come down from that and fall asleep. Uh, I think I ended up falling asleep around two, maybe a little after, but in any case, I am quite tired and got a little bit of a headache from the alcohol I drank last night, mostly because I didn't hydrate well enough. Um, I was fully cognizant the whole night. I didn't like go overboard or anything, but I was feeling good. <laughs> I was having a good time dancing, bought some merch. Um, yeah, it was just, a, it was a really fun concert. I'm really glad that I got to go and she puts on a really good show. It was three hours of a very entertaining show. Now it is about 1030. I have about an hour and a half before I have to vacate the room and check out. And I have a bit of cleaning up to do. Luckily I can just shove everything in bags and go home, but the room's not a disaster or anything. It's just things are now spread out across the room after getting ready for the concert yesterday. So I just need to clean things up, get them all in bags and load in my car. I'll definitely be able to do it in an hour and a half, but I don't want to. I want to just lay in bed and not do anything. But alas, I have to leave the room. So that is my update for this Sunday morning. I'll put in some clips of the concert itself. I didn't record yesterday. I was, I was so busy yesterday that I didn't even think to stop and actually record vlog footage pretty much at all, like once I was getting ready. So I hope you enjoy my doctor together footage of what I did gather yesterday. Um, I can't, I don't think I can put any of the like actual music parts in with the sound. So unfortunately for copyright reasons, I can't like actually play the videos with the sound of the concert. So I'll put in some clips that I think I could potentially put in without getting in trouble, but we'll see. But yeah, sadly we have to go back to reality now. So that means I have to get back home and get ready to go to work tomorrow. <laughs> Quite the way to start a reading vlog, huh? I guess this is going to be a reading vlog. We haven't done any reading yet, but maybe I'll turn, I'll turn on an audiobook while I'm cleaning so that I can get some of that done. The book that I'm currently listening to is called The Last House Guest by Megan Miranda. I read a book by her last month called All the Missing Girls, and I'm unsure how I feel about this one. So maybe Megan Miranda is just not an author for me, but we'll see. I'm, I'm still fairly early on in The Last House Guest, so it could turn out to be a really good book. But as of right now, I'm, I'm not fully invested in it yet. So let's put that on and start cleaning up the room a little bit, shall we? Okay, let's get to cleaning so that I can get home and see my dog and lay in my own bed. Yeah, like this is the kind of stuff I'm talking about. Like it's not messy, it's just things are strewn about everywhere. <laughs> There's more makeup over there, a bunch of random stuff there, more random stuff over there, and then stuff here. So like, it's not overall not messy, but all this stuff has to come home with me. Well, most of it, not the trash, but you get the picture. Alrighty, let's get cleaning.
just finished packing all my stuff. You can see it there. I'll do one more once over of this room before I leave. It is now 11.25, so about time to head out and go back home. So yeah, let's do a walkthrough one last time. Bye room. Thanks for a fun weekend. Back to reality. Good morning, everyone. Today is Friday, April 7th. Good Friday. And I am off work today. And since I am off work today, I took the opportunity to sleep in just a little bit. Still woke up around 8.15, so didn't sleep in that late. And then I decided that instead of editing in my house today for my video that's going up tomorrow, I decided to head to downtown Denton and grab some breakfast and some coffee at a local coffee shop called Jupiter House and do my work from there. And since I am already on the square, I'm probably gonna hit up Recycled Books too. Jupiter House and Recycled Books are on the same street. I can literally walk between them. So whenever I come to downtown Denton and I have some coffee and do some work at Jupiter House, it's almost like I, I gotta go to Recycled Books just to look around. We'll see if we find anything. But I figured since I'm doing a vlog anyway, I'll take you guys with me. Let's just do a general reading update for the month of April up until now. So we are a week into April as of right now, and I have finished The Last House Guest, and I have finished Within These Walls, and I started yesterday watching you. And I have Pretty Girls also available through Libby that I need to read as well. So we have we have quite a few audiobooks on the docket that we're trying to get through. And then I am also physically reading The Writing Retreat. That's the only physical one that I have going right now. I may start another physical book if I feel so inclined, but I really wanna give The Writing Retreat a fair shake before I start deviating to other books. So that is my reading update as of right now. I'm gonna go get some work done in Jupiter House and then head over to Recycled Books and I'm gonna take you guys with me as I do it. So this is going to be a nice little relaxing and also productive day off. Excited to take you guys with me on my little overcast cloudy day on the square in Denton. So without further ado, let's get to it, shall we? finished at Recycled Books and as you would have seen in the previous clip I've got a little bit of a haul for you. I ended up buying eight books for $70 so honestly not really that bad expense wise like if I were to go to a Barnes and Noble type place and buy eight books it would be well over a hundred dollars. That always makes me feel a little bit better when I go a little crazy at Recycled because even when I pick out like arms full of books it's still not 
as bad as if I would have gone to Barnes and Noble. They must have had a deal with this publisher because there are a lot of these books that are brand new from Paper Mill Press that have these gorgeous covers. And three of the eight that I bought are these editions of books. Like this is the prettiest cover of The Hunchback of Notre Dame that I have ever seen. And I had to buy it. It was only $9 too. It's not a true hard cover. It looks like a hard cover, but the cover itself is still a little like on the softer side, but it is a beautiful book. Also on the back of these, they have quotes from the book. The one for The Hunchback of Notre Dame says, a one-eyed man is much more incomplete than a blind man for he knows what it is that's wanting. I guess I'll just go ahead and do a little haul in my car for you since we're here and I have the books. So the next one that I got from this collection, I guess, of classics was Frankenstein by Mary Shelley. I, I love this cover. It's way better than the Penguin Classics cover that I have, so I wanted to pick this one up. And the quote on the back of this one says, to examine the causes of life, we must first have the recourse to death. I became acquainted with the science of anatomy, but this was not sufficient. I must also observe the natural decay and corruption of the human body. So that's Frankenstein. And I don't know if you can tell, but they're like, it's like metallic foil on the cover. So these are like shiny against this matte black background. The last book that I got from that collection was, ooh, I can't even hold it with one hand, Anna Karenina. And just look at that cover. She's so pretty. And then the quote on the back says, he stepped down, avoiding any long look at her as one avoids looking at the sun, but seeing her as one sees the sun without looking. So maybe, maybe I'll end up reading this book at some point. It's like 800 pages, but I have the book now. Those are the three that I bought because of the covers alone. The other five books that I got were A Room of One's Own by Virginia Woolf. I'm not entirely sure if I already own this book or not, but it was $3. So I figured if I did, $3 won't hurt me that much. Then I bought The Revenant. This is the book that supposedly inspired the movie and decided to pick this up and try to read it because I've not seen the movie. So might as well read the book first if I haven't seen the movie yet. Then I got this Mary Queen of Scots book. It's more of a history monograph and she's pretty thick. So it's a lot of information in here. And this is just me being a history nerd. So that's why I bought this book. Then I did pick up what I think is a thriller. I could be wrong, but just based on the description on the back and what I vaguely know about this book, I think this is a thriller, but it's called The Devil All the Time. Oh, I'm not entirely sure if it's a thriller, but it is a crime fiction novel. So picked that one up. And the last book that I picked up was The Girl with the Louding Voice. I've heard really good things about this book and it's a bit of a departure from my normal thriller genre books. So I decided to give that a go as well. And those are all of the books that I bought today. So thank you for coming with me on my book shopping adventure. Didn't think I would pick up that many, but I'm very happy with the purchases that I made. So, so that is all I have for you now. And I will check back in with you guys later. Hello again. I forgot to do an outro before stopping filming. As you may have already noticed, this was not a reading vlog. I went in with full intention of putting a reading vlog portion in this video, but for two reasons that didn't work out. One being I just didn't read enough or record enough to make it worth putting that in the video. And the second reason is that even without the reading vlog footage, this video was already almost 20 minutes long. So made the executive decision that we can survive without it this week. I thought that the concert footage and going book shopping would be a fun little excursion from the normal reading vlog book centered content. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. I enjoyed making it. I enjoyed going to the concert, obviously. I hope you guys enjoyed coming along with me on that little journey. And if you did enjoy the concert bit and the more vlog style video, then you are in luck because I have several trips and concerts that I'm going to over the next few months that I fully intend on bringing you guys with me for. 
So that's something to look forward to in the coming months. There's going to be a lot more variety in the kind of content and videos that you're going to be getting. I'm talking a little low and quiet right now because, unfortunately for me, I am developing a migraine right now, and it is Saturday, and I haven't filmed an outro. So that is the current state that we're in right now, trying to finish recording this, get it edited really quick so that I can upload it before my migraine fully sets in. Not that it matters or anyone really cares, I guess, but I get these what are called auras before my migraines actually hit, before the headache part of the migraine actually starts. And um, yeah, you know, they're, they're fun little things like I lose vision in one of my eyes, my hand goes numb, that kind of thing. I have been checked. There's nothing that doctors can find wrong with my brain, but that's just the warning signs I get before I actually get the migraine. And we are currently in the vision going in one of my eyes right now stage. So we're trying to get this done and uploaded before that fully happens. So we're going to keep this short and sweet as, as much as possible. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and joining me on this kind of random mashup of a vlog. It's a little, it's a little all over the place, a little chaotic, but so is my life right now. So it's on brand really, if you think about it. <laughs> if you did enjoy today's video, feel free to leave a like down below. Let me know and subscribe while you're down there. And there will be more fun excursion style vlogs coming in the next few months as well. So you have that to look forward to. And yeah, I hope you guys have a wonderful day wherever you are in the world. Hopefully better than mine, at least. <laughs> and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!